It is the season for lottery dream homes. In Calgary, Regina, Markham, and New Brunswick, lucky winners have been announced this month in charity draws for real estate. Now, often tickets fall around $100, but the cost of the prize, a dream home or condo, can be much higher than winners expect. Marketing expert Bryn Weingard joins us now from our downtown studios in Toronto to talk more about this. Uh, good to see you this morning. Good to see you. How common is it for a dream home winner to sell their house after winning it? Yeah, so it's particularly common, in fact. And, you know, as an example, St. John's Regional Hospital recently found that the last nine winners, so this year's winner included, have, have decided to sell their home. And, of course, we hear all the time that there are people who buy these tickets knowing full well that should they buy those tickets, they would have to sell the home if they were to win it. And why is that? Yeah, I mean, the homes ultimately are very, you know, they, they cost a lot to maintain. The insurance is very high. There are provincial taxes you have to pay when you win something. And so ultimately, the taxes, the upkeep, the insurance are, are something that, you know, most people, they would be building up to their whole life to be able to afford. And people often who purchase these tickets in the intent, of course, of supporting the hospital find that, in fact, they can't afford it ultimately. So why do you think people buying these dream home lottery tickets don't kind of understand the, the cost associated with that? Yeah, I mean, I think two, two things are true. One is that, of course, it's much easier to envision the dream and really believe in the dream, and that's why hospital associations and certainly Rotary, Rotary clubs and those kind of organizations are doing these home sweepstakes and continue to. Second is that, you know, the dream is still alive. It's just they don't really realize the consequences until they have them. And I think third is that really it's in support of the hospital. And so even the people who ultimately can't afford those homes, it's not as though they walk away with nothing. They sell and they end up with the proceeds of that sale of that home. So what does this mean for, for charities? Because like you said, they're often like hospital foundations. Sh should they, the ones running these contests, perhaps offer a cash prize instead of this beautiful luxury home? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's such a good question. And I think, you know, um, they've tried that before. And of course, the problem is, is that you can't do like with like. So when you ask for $100, let's say, in return for, let's pretend it was $600,000, ultimately, you, two things are true. Is One is that people don't believe it or they can't envision it. It doesn't create the same kind of word of mouth or buzz. The second is, of course, is that really there are no dollars on the line here. In actual fact, the houses themselves are being donated. And so the hospital proceeds or, or the proceeds that come to the people and to the hospital are really it's a triangulation of donations and so instead of cash prizes it's much easier to donate things that businesses are able to incur as a write-off as again their own donation to that hospital foundation marketing expert Bryn Weingard joining us from downtown Toronto thanks for this Bryn thank you